Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you the benchmarks for the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 G1 Gaming graphics card. So, what we've got here is a GTX 980 graphics card with a custom cooling solution with the WinForce 3X cooling on it so you have three fans on it with a copper heat sink right on the GPU uh, for better cooling and better overclocking it is also factory overclocked so you have supported right from the factory uh, an overclock out of the box that's not going to void your warranty so let's take a closer look at the card and then we'll check out the benchmark Here we have a closer look of the Gigabyte G1 Gaming Edition of the GeForce GTX 980 graphics card. As you can see, you've got this nice three fan cooler on here with a really large heat sink on it and lots of copper heat pipes that you can sort of see through the fans to um, keep everything nice and cool. And you do have an overclock from the factory on this. Uh, a base clock is 1228 and a boost clock of 1329 megahertz so that's a pretty significant overclock right out of the box supported by the factory memory clock is still 7 gigabits per second which is standard just like the reference and you have 4 gigs of memory on it on a 256 bit memory bus the PCIe is a 3.0 PCI Express DirectX 12 support, OpenGL 4.4 support, and you have a max resolution of 4K for digital connections and 2K for analog connections with support for up to four monitors. So let me show you the rest of the card here real quick. On the back of it, we've got our connectors, and you can see that you have three display ports. You have an HDMI and you also have two DVI connections, one DVI-I and one DVI-D port. So you have plenty of connectivity options for depending on the monitors that you want to be using. No big deal. Obviously the PCI Express slot on the bottom here and on the top you have the WinForce logo which does glow uh, blue when it's installed in the case. If you don't want that, of course, you can simply disconnect the cable right there um, for that LED if that's going to bother you. On the bottom you can see the connectors for the three fans, one here and the daisy chain over here that comes over to plug into the PCB of the graphics card. On the back we also have a nice hefty back plate on here to keep this card nice and stiff which is nice because uh, it is a fairly hefty card. It is heavy, so you definitely don't want this thing flexing on you, um, especially considering the price tag of these high-end cards. You do see that there are a bunch of screws here underneath it that you can get to if you need to take the heat sink off of this for some reason or if you're going to be water cooling it once the water blocks come out. You also have two SLI connectors on the top here and the two eight pin power connectors that this takes. I really found that the cooler worked really well and we were able to install this in the system very easily. The two eight pin connectors provide plenty of power to the PCB and we were able to even get a decent overclock on this further than the overclock from the factory However, my uh, 25 by 16 monitor did fail on me right in the middle of my overclock testing. So unfortunately, I had to revert to a 1080p monitor to test my overclocking numbers. So keep that in mind when looking at the benchmarks. All the stock numbers are at 25 by 16 and the overclock numbers are 1080p. So they're significantly higher um, frame rates. So now let's take a look at those benchmarks.
So as you can see from the benchmarks, the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 graphics card, the G1 Gaming Edition, uh, performs very well in the benchmarks and you can easily play any games that you want at 25 by 16 or 1920 by 1080. We're even getting to the point where 4K gaming is starting to become a reality and you can certainly do that with this card uh, to some degree and definitely we really I really dig the uh, cooling solution on it I found that it was very quiet probably never really going over 50 percent and the noise level was really quiet compared to the rest of my system so I really enjoyed that and the fact that you have extra display ports on it for if you do want to hook up multiple monitors the one thing that I definitely have to say about this is I feel like it's priced a little high even though it's really high quality just because all the competitors have their prices a little bit lower than this so that's definitely something to consider you're getting what you pay for but um, there are other options out there that are cheaper if you're on a lower budget so I hope you enjoyed this review and for the full review, please see www.hightechlegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.